Hi guys, welcome to a new episode of 1220 Cooking UK. I'm Izzo and today is Mother's Day, at least in the UK, not in Italy. So my mom gets two Mother's Days, how lucky. And today I wanted to make a pasta that is using a really special ingredient and an ingredient I think not many people know here and it's called bottarga. What is bottarga? Bottarga is a smoked fish roe and it doesn't sound very good but it's actually delicious and I'm using a Sicilian version which is tuna, specifically red tuna bottarga. And I get this <clears throat> from a beautiful place in Sicily called Marzamemi, from the most amazing shop that I try to go to every year, which is called Adelfio. And they do everything themselves. And if you ever go to Sicily, if you ever go to Marzamemi, go and check them out. And I just wanted to show you how I make this beautiful spaghetti con la bottarga di tonno. Let's check out the ingredients. And they're easier than you think. So we've got, of course, our beautiful piece of tuna bottarga. We've got our extra virgin olive oil from Tuscany. We've got a nice cup of chopped parsley. Two cloves of garlic, because garlic is what? It's life. Then we've got a nice whole lemon, remember, unwaxed. We've got some salt for our pasta and spaghetti. I love to use spaghetti for uh, fish pasta. First thing first, we need to get a large pot of water to boil. So I've already got mine ready and we're almost boiling. Then we have a large pan and what I'm going to do is add quite a bit. Ideally, you would use just olive oil. Um, extra virgin usually you use it for salads and things like this. I've put a nice amount because it's going to be the main thing binding my pasta and flavoring my pasta. Then this beautiful garlic, what I'm going to do is chop it up into slices into my pan. There we go, leaving the bottom and this is so we don't have to make the chopping board dirty less clean up perfect now we need to let this heat up and while we're waiting for our pasta to our water to boil we'll let this heat up and I'll show you the next steps so while everything is warming up heating up um, we need to prepare our bottarga mix. So what I do is I take it out and you see there's um, some skin that I need to remove. So with a knife, just try and remove it without losing too much of our bottarga. I'm not going to be using too much because this is strong. And it's the same thing you need to do with uh, other bottarga. Always remove the skin. I'd like to remind you also the flavor is very intense, which is why you need to pace yourself when using it. So now that I've peeled it, I'm going to use this, which is my new best friend, a zester. And what I do is just zest away till I have the amount that I want. So I've grated my bottarga di tonno and uh, it's about a cup. I mean, this has a lot of savory fish flavor. So the more you put, obviously, the more intense the flavor will be. So make sure you taste a little bit to see how much you want to put in your pasta. I'm feeding three hungry people and for me, this is the perfect amount. The next thing you need to do is take your bottarga and seal it in some cling film because we want to store this precious brick of goodness. There we go, nothing goes to waste. And on for the next time. The next thing we need to do 
is add a lemon uh, rind, peel, skin, lemon. <laughs> Um, and I'm using unwax. Make sure it's unwaxed because otherwise you're getting a bunch of wax in your food and you don't want that. If they are waxed, just put them in some hot water and that will eliminate the wax around them and then pull them out really quickly. So I'm using my zester again. And I'll be using all of this uh, lemon. Make sure not to go on the white of the lemon and just take the skin. The white part of the lemon is very bitter and we just want the fragrance of the lemon. So remember to turn every time you grate. I have grated all my lemon and to store it for next time, just take some cling film, wrap it around. And you've made another skin, pop it in the fridge and it's ready for next time. Let's go back to our pot. My water is boiling, as you can see. And at this stage, we need to add salt. How much salt is up to your salt? It needs to taste like the sea. I'm putting three nice handfuls and I'm going to close it again to get it back to boiling. My garlic as well is nice and toasted. My flavor is gone into the oil which is great and this I can turn down the heat and we can leave it to get more flavor while we wait for our pasta to cook. Our water is back to the boil. And I'm going to use about 400 grams of pasta, so a nice handful. And with some tongs, push everything down in the direction that you threw it in at. We want to make sure we add 10 minutes to our timer. So I'm doing two things at once, which I'm a woman, I can do that. And I've put 40 minutes. Clearly I can't do that. Cover it up and let it boil away. My pasta has almost finished boiling. We're at the last minute. So what we're going to do is we have our oil here with our garlic that was toasted and we put this great mix that we did into the pan to kind of warm through. We don't want to cook this, we want to warm it through. And that's my pasta saying it's ready. So what we do now is stir this in to make sure everything gets warmed through. and taste our pasta because it's very important to taste your pasta don't throw it on the wall remember it's not redecorating it's cooking let me get one strand i'm gonna add one more minute i put less time um, I put the lower end, so I put the al dente end of the spectrum, but I'm trying to go a bit in between. So leave it one more minute. This will warm up. We'll warm through and then we'll put our pasta in. Our pasta is ready. So I've got this handy colander inserted in my pasta pot. We don't need pasta water for this one. We've got the olive oil that's uh, doing that heavy lifting. And now, add everything in as much as possible. And it's time to stir. This part of 
your pasta is very important. You need to always stir very well and make sure everything is thoroughly mixed. And I'm gonna put in our parsley. I'm gonna put most of it in and then leave some for decoration on top for the plates. Your pasta also finishes to cook in this part and it absorbs, instead of absorbing water, it absorbs the flavor that you've uh, given it. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's making that noise. The pasta is singing. And this means that it's cooked well and it's getting mixed very well as well. Time to plate up. So I take a nice load full, put my plate underneath and twist my tongs as I go down. How pretty does that look? And then I'm gonna add a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil on top and some more parsley. And this is my special spaghetti alla bottarga di tonno for Mother's Day. Time to taste, we wanna make my mother happy. We don't wanna serve her something she doesn't like, so let's taste it. Wow. Perfect. Botarga is the most amazing flavor you will ever try. If you can get some, do it. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. And remember to always cook with love. Thank you again.